It's a hundred journal prompts! Hello, hello, welcome back to Scholastically Natalie, where I am eternally stuffed up and slowly losing my mind. <laughs> uh, nothing quite so severe. I've just been in a strange flux between uh, the heaters in my apartment going on at certain temperatures and getting so hot I can't sleep without turning my air conditioner on its high setting. Uh, I keep laying down to go to bed and then I'm like, I can't function? Why can't I sleep? I'm so tired. Except for last night because I I just cleaned for four hours. Um, I didn't take my melatonin at midnight because I don't have to work today. Ha 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 ha. Um, and instead I just frantically cleaned everything. Sometimes if you feed me after midnight, much like gremlins, except perhaps in the opposite way, I will clean instead. Um, I cleaned quite a lot of things. I finally got the dust off of my little shelves in my bathroom, uh, because if there's one thing I'm exceptionally bad at, it is dusting furniture, as my parents could tell you. My mom used to walk into my room when I lived at home and would just see the, the dust layered on top of my <laughs> chest of drawers and just be like, are you, are you gonna dust anytime soon? <laughs> I don't know why. I always, I just don't like doing it. Um, but now that I live by myself, I'm like, wow, I really need to dust stuff. <laughs> so, woo, we've gotten over that hurdle, I guess. Anyways, uh, I'm sorry for another late video. Uh, I was in a very strange mood most of this week, uh, culminating in, I don't want to do things that I know that I should do, and then when I do them, I feel great. <laughs> so I'm finally filming this video, which is a response to journal prompts. Uh, number 20 is travel, and the prompt is, where would you like to travel to? Why? Explain your reasoning in a paragraph. What would you like to see there? What would you like to do? Um, and for me, there's several places I would love to travel to. Wow, that was like the most unenthusiastic sounding sentence ever. <laughs> um, one of my most, uh, one of my largest, I would say, one of my largest uh, desires is to return to England, which is just a, a great place to go. visit my relatives and explore even more of the country and just soak it in. I, I really do just love the atmosphere of England. Um, Another place I would love to go, but currently am definitely <laughs> too self-conscious to is Japan. It looks amazing. I follow an Australian YouTuber who has vlogged over there and it looks so awesome. However, countries where I don't speak the language make me like 10 times more anxious <laughs> so that might just be a fantasy <laughs> lastly I would love to return to France for a longer stay as long as I have like as long as I have someone 
who can speak French with me. <laughs> uh, this is a little more accessible. Because my mom can speak French. So... It's a lot easier to find someone to go with me versus Japan, where nobody I know is, <laughs> nobody I know speaks Japanese. <laughs> um, another place that I have been to for a very short amount of time is Austria, which was awesome the brief time I was there. I would love to return. It's absolutely gorgeous. And also bring a friend who speaks German. <laughs> I have some of those. <laughs> so it's not completely out of the option. Personally, I would love to bring my mom with me because she absolutely loved Austria when we were there. Lastly, I would like to go to some places in the US as well. I have never been to New York City or really any of the big cities. Finally went to Tennessee, there we go, a few years ago. And while that was awesome, it was also hell. <laughs> hell because it temperature. <laughs> the humidity was so high you couldn't walk down the street without, like, feeling terrible. Except for my mother, who is a robot, I guess. <laughs> I would like to go to other larger cities and kind of wander around and see what they're like. I'm originally a country human, and now that I've moved to a city, not a large one, uh, it's quite neat, and I'd like to experience ones that are more the size and feeling of London. So, I don't know, I have Wow, you can really tell that my brain's just doing great today. <laughs> Anyways, uh so that's kind of how I feel about travel. I like to do it. I like to go different places. Um Although, I don't know if I'd be able to, to go alone, because as a smaller human, uh, my mom would plan all of our trips, and she's incredibly organized. Um, so I don't know if I'd be able to do it without becoming uh, incredibly organized myself. So. 
where do you guys want to travel? Let me know, like, answer some, answer the prompt in the comments. Tell me things if you don't want to answer the prompt. Uh, how has your week been? Have you been productive? Do you get a day off for Veterans Day? Uh, I was a little surprised to find that I did. <laughs> uh, I hope you weren't too put out by me missing a video yesterday. And... I promise that I will do my best to get back on track. Uh, today I'm gonna try to record the second videos that I can upload that as well later, and then we will just be set. Uh, okay, thanks for watching. I hope you had a very nice time. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Scholastically Natalie is out.